I S U P K. Yo. I thought the bumble clock to them boy, yeah, man. Bad mind, I'm gonna kill them. Suffocate on a pussy wall. Yo, status. Tell some boys we don't chat us. Anyway, my dog go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking on my jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad. Send the pussy them, but meet them God Louis me kick, pan we feed them bad Catch a new drip, dog we beat them bad Look how we just come and we a beat them bad You know sister we is them dad Hey, but anyway though, this a no playground The Glock 19, they have to stay round Now nah, take no check with me payroll Anything rise up, play down Them a send check, but they won't Dog we will make it step if they don't but at the same old, same old Said them want smoke but the grabber don't flame out A couple of yalla come through Follow me up We have been established since 1969 And we have been teaching the truth that so called Negroes Latinos And Native Indians, Cabs and Arawaks Indigenous people as you know in this part of the hemisphere Are the true Biblical Jews, the true and actual Israelites The people that are supposed to be running the planet The people that was on top at one time we are the true children of the, of, the, of the Bible, all right? And today I want to ask you a question. But all the madness that we see going around, and we see the plagues, right? And we see the diseases, and we think it's man-made, and it's 5G, and it's this and that, right? And we put all these things as a, as a destruction and not actually understanding what really taking place. I want to ask ourselves this question. Are we truly seeking justice? Do we want to resolve the, the, the situations in our communities? And the Negro, Latino, and Native Indian communities. Where Venezuelans coming across here, when they are all rich country and they could have been surviving and thriving. Are we truly seeking justice? Are we going about the right mechanisms? Or do we really put that at the forefront of our minds when we think about getting justice? For all the crimes, all the drugs that come into our communities, all the guns, all the weapons, you understand? All the police brutality. Are we truly seeking justice? Or are we looking for others for a pat on the back? We want to ease up, but we want actual justice. All right? Here's what the Lord saying. This is our condition. Look what the Bible telling, saying about us. Give me the um, lamentation 170. Give me where are they? The book of lamentations. Oh, and verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help in our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. So the Lord said, in our watching, in our going about daily, and our, our, our quest, you know, saying, forgetting the degrees, and they say education to fix the problem. They say community leaders go fix the problem. They say politics and voting PNM go fix the problem. You understand? But we're not taking a real look, an introspective look and what really taking place and examining these so-called societal solutions. We're not taking a look at that. So the Lord said, in our watching, in our hoping, we have looked for people that could not save us. Give me that again. As for us, right. our eyes as yet fail. So the Lord said, our eyes, our hopes, when we're looking for people that would save us, it has failed us. What we are doing is not working. So we must examine and see what has worked before. What upholds our society? What actually makes the fabric of our society stand and build strong and continue to have Mario's and KFC and Republic Bank and all these things that we don't have last name too. That we don't have any of these that is a stronghold in our communities. If, you understand, we don't meet their criteria, we have no say. We cannot get these things accessible to us. So we are looking in the, in the wrong direction, basically. The Lord is saying this because you are trying to do everything but obey daddy. Understand what your father in the Bible said. So-called Negro man, Latino man, and Hispanic man, and Native Indian man. You are the people that face it. You are the people that get in a, a, a cocktail. So you must take a look and see why does daddy cut the material so much? You understand? And what is he, what is, what is he not doing? You follow? That's so, right. You hear the age just saying, and here's what. We call ourselves in this slave 
captured land. You understand? A 500 year old country. Because here's the history about Trinidad. Alright? I'm going to read an article here, which is the brief history on Trinidad. Alright? Human settlement in Trinidad dates back to at least 7,000 years. The native peoples of Trinidad are called Ayri. Right? Now, the arrival of Christopher Columbus. They led relatively isolated lives. When our people was, was here, we used to live in peace, just as we just live in our communities, nice, and our neighborhood is raised, a child, and all these different ways that we had. Right? But the arrival of the people at, that named Trinidad, or La Trinity, whatever the case is, was not so long ago. It's only 500 years old, you understand? But here, what they brought to them, this is what you must understand, right? Columbus landed in Trinidad 1498. However, finding no gold, went on a, on a slave raid. So when he come here, his, his quest was to look in his Bible, which is our records. When he look in here, this is where he can tell where the native people are the land where you will find them. Right. You understand in New India, wherever the case is, where it is he looking for? Because you know where these people are, you understand how rich is, the Lord is with these people. So in his quest to find gold, he didn't find no gold. So you know what he's going to do? He's going to slave raid. When we go and look for something, we don't go on the slave raid. We don't go on rare people. If we can't get, you understand, that's the damn amount of money. Nobody cares. But here, what your presidents do? Go on and slave people, rape them, molest them, and here we get them. A change in identity. And this is the things that we're looking to right now. Hey, what the Lord saying in the scriptures, we're looking, our eyes are fearless. Because we're looking in a very, the wrong direction, vain, which means useless. It cannot help us. Right. You understand? These things are important to really conceptualize. When I start to really pay attention to hey, these people are not ruling over me. Why is he sure Why is they telling me that in school, the only thing I was is a slave? What I was before a slave? Right. What I was before Trinidad, 500 years were established. Right. Right. You understand? Who we were? What is, we, what is the thing we used to do? You understand? These are the things that you must pay attention to because if we ain't going for the back in that, and you want to be lazy, you know what I continue to happen? We better get gunned down. We sons, you understand, we daughters and them. Get gunned down, get raped, get put in a situation, or some kind of outer time and thing that continues to happen. You understand? These are things that make sure and pay attention to. The Lord is saying that we have been looking in the wrong direction. Give me a lamentation for eight, um, four, and I'm um, sorry, five and one. Five the shot. book of lamentations, five and verse one. Mm -hmm. Remember, O oh Lord, what is come upon us? Right, so you're here. Every day we cry out for a solution. Father God, help me. What's going on? Lord, put a hand. Jesus, take the wheel. All these different things. But hear what the Lord's saying. This is a, this is a wise for Father. Here he's saying here. He said, Lord, remember the things that happened to us. When we get, when we get with language and we have it, just shift from us. Here he's saying, remember the things that come upon us, which today we don't do. This is what we have before. At least the ability to go back to your records and look. But when I ship you from that, you ain't, you ain't looking in the right direction. So the highest to begin the command and general honor of the most important duty on the face of the planet. That's right. That's we come right. to do here. Good. You understand? Pointing you back in the right direction to turn the whole world upside down. Right. You understand? So here the Lord said, read on. And behold our reproach. Behold the reproach. What oh, else call we? Cockroach, pests, and all these things on them, that is a reproach. How you call a so called human being? That's what they call us, right? And everybody equal. But you call them the pests. You don't call these things on pests. You don't call the Chinese man on pests. Right. When they when they taken 17 year old, 15 year old, 14, 13 year old, Venezuelan girls, little girls, and have them inside the business establishment. That's you don't call right. them no pests. Right. You understand? That is a reproach, that is an outer time and thing. You follow? Why it is that we're not seeking real justice? Why our mind is not on getting actual justice for the crimes committed against us? Right. That's right. Read on. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. Our her inheritance mm -hmm. is turned to strangers. Because our, her our inheritance, the things that were passed down to us, our lands, our laws, our records. You understand? The things that them that will make sure that you have a calculated system to continue to have a society running properly. With actual justice, our inheritance is turned to strangers, Marios and KFC, all these different things that's supposed to be yours. 
esteemed as stranger. You know, just not recognize these people. So called black man, Latino man, and Native Indian man. This must come up to the top of your mind. The Lord calling them strangers. Our forefathers know that they are strangers. You need to understand that you need to take back your inheritance. You follow? So the steps and, 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 and the, the way to come out of all this, all this madness is to start to get fire here. To really pay attention as the word coming out. And then you see what the Lord is trying to show you, trying to get attention towards where? Our houses to aliens! Right. Yeah. Verse 3. We are orphans mm -hmm. and fatherless. Right. Our mothers are as widows. Uh -huh. Verse 4. We have drunken our water uh -huh. for money. We have drunken our water for money. When Antonio Di Barrio, the only recognized person here, look at right in the article here, right? When he was established in 1592, this is the man that Spain had sent to conquer this place under, under the leadership of Christopher Columbus. Christopher Lion Columbus, you understand? Right. That is the man, you follow? That set up his men, Antonio Di Barrio, in Trinidad, the Oruna, or Iruna, right? For Antonio um, Cortes in Mexico, all these different things happen in different parts wherever the so-called black man, Latino man, and native Indian man reside. Up to today, you understand these things are prevalent and it's actually written in history. Right. You follow? So it's very important to understand what takes place, what is the cause of our issues, and stop letting people bamboozle you and talk about all our one. And we're not seeing effect when it comes to sharing out things that everything equal and it's not equal. Right. All our is not one. Right. Hear you know what these other races know about us. Once you come back to understanding what we're supposed to be doing, then and only then you can fix our communities and in turn fix the entire world. Right, right. You understand? If you're addicted to drugs, and you're addicted to, to hoes, addicted to every evil under the sun, which is a learned behavior, which is the thing that the so-called oppressor came and taught you. Because when you conquer the land, that's what he bought. What do you find? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you think say? The article said, when he come across here and he couldn't find gold that satisfies lust, he went on a slave raid. You understand what I tell you? So these people and they, that you want to look up to, and they have the images in all these different churches, and not your friends. These are actual brutal men. Slave masters, slavery was never anything good for us. The right. Lord is trying to show us what will happen to us if we don't obey him. Deuteronomy right. chapter 28 and verse 1, Baba Kusha. All, all, your, all your lamentations, don't write that. Right? So these things are imperative to start to put your attention towards doing the proper research, finding out exactly what taking place because these people are so prideful that they left it in records. They left clues for you to understand. But you know what they push on the media? That black men is the problem. That drugs and guns is the problem. When we don't have the ability to bring in that. We do not have the connections to have anything passed through any ports. We don't have the connection like JP Morgan. They bring 17 million and how much billion and drugs all the time tied to, to both propellers. And nobody, nobody goes into making sure that they are actually jailed and punished for their crimes. So question arise again. So-called Negro man, Latino man, Native Indian man. Do we actually seek justice for the crimes that are committed against us? Do we want to get to the root of the problem? Do we actually want to come out of this and change the society? You have been wondering, asking yourself and praying vain prayers and looking in a real direction for far too long and it is the cause of your brothers, your sisters, your daughters, your children. That is who, that is who pain. When it is we don't come up to scratch. When we are not doing or being led in the proper direction, we are supposed to get. You pay for it, you might get to pay for it. You understand? Selfishness is not doing you any good. That is you, that is the mind state of the oppressor. White supremacy is about the so-called white man, the oppressor, making sure that he fulfills every last on the planet. As he does today, he wants to travel the world, and when he travels the world, he's not going out and like himself nowhere else on a beach like everybody else. You know, you know he's going to do in the parallel games. You understand? That's the mind state of your oppressor. You need to separate from that type of behavior, that type of mind state. And so, having them in high regard so that you can look back to your power, you can look back to the actual people and them that are living right next to you. You follow? Which is actually a curse to be in that state of mind. You follow? We are being punished. For not adhering to what he was saying. Did you want to return to the other one? Get him in the back of the shop. The book! The book!
of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. And the Lord said, it will come to pass. It will happen if you. When? If thou shalt hearken. If you will hearken, if you will listen, pay attention, God. Diligently. Diligently. You understand? You must make this your primary objective. This is what the life is supposed to be based upon. When? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Listening to the directions, the manual, the guidelines of the Lord your power. The one that's protect you. Listen, God. To observe and to do mm -hmm. all his commandments. To observe, understand everything that the Lord set out for you to do and obey them. This is the structure that we do not have. That is why we crumble as a society. That is why we need condition that we end today. These things are imperative to understand so called Negro man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man, and woman. You understand to continue to make sure that we come out of this mess. We cannot be satisfied not getting any justice anymore. You know? Which I command thee this day. And the Lord did not give you no option. He said this is a command. You are supposed to do it. What you have is these so-called religious leaders and black leaders telling you that you have freedom of choice. The Lord gave you an ultimatum, which means this is what happens if you do this. You will receive life if you obey. If you disobey, you will face death. The book of Deuteronomy 28. And verse 15. And now on the flip side, what the Lord is saying here now, in the same chapter, He's saying, you obey, you'll receive the blessing. You disobey, here's what's going to happen. Read on. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken. So it will happen, it will come to pass, it will happen, which it did, which is, is, which is, is happening right now, if you do not obey, what will happen? If thou will not hearken, Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord, to the instructions of his prophet going down the road, what will happen? To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to pay attention. Not to let, let people tell you that ham is okay to eat, and lobster is okay to eat, and crab is okay to eat, and it's a delicacy. And you can celebrate birthdays, and Christmas, and all this philosophy that you're not seen in the Bible. Huh. When the Lord gave you a command, he said, that you must obey what it is he said to do. If you do not obey, this is what you'll face. Read on. That all these curses, that all these curses, so called black and black crime. All these curses. All these curses. Last fire, first fire. Read on. Um, give me that again. All these, these curses. All these curses, jokes. You people stronger than jokes. And we don't even get that kind of good treatment in the hospitals. Give me that again. All these curses. All these curses. Uh, how much percent of us will be jails? Everywhere that we are on the face of the planet, we are the, we are the, the, the what do you call it? The produce. We follow it like a farm. And oh. all the producing is black people coming through the system. Black, Latino, and Native Indian people coming through their system. And they come to reap and make money off of it. This is what happened. The drug, the RDC prevalent, that is the, the so called prison system, a rehab center, is not to make you better, it's only to make you worse. Only to put a stigma on the people and, and how they look at you and how they treat with you. That's why you don't get um, what you call it, um, first class treatment in the banks. And every when you are in that position as a people, they will continue to have an excuse to do you anything that they want on the face of the planet. That is why we don't get justice in this land. So question arises again. So called Negro man, Hispanic man, Native Indian man and woman. Are we actually wanting justice? Do we want justice? Because if we don't want justice, we want destruction. Right. That is the reality of things. Right. If we do not want the actual solution, we want a country to be raped, to be murdered, to be stuffed into the prisons, to be abused, and to, and to make a, be a laughing stock of every other race on the face of the planet. So here what, like so here what our forefathers are telling us again. He making sure and bring it to our attention because we don't understand that today. And that time, at least we had the records to understand. But this is the important thing to understand, so called black man. We don't. The book of Lamentations 5 and verse 3. Man. We are orphans. We are orphans. Nobody has an association for the so called Negro man, Hispanic man, and Native Indian man. There's no, there's no protection for our communities. Nobody speaks on our behalf. You know what they you know, tell us to do? To, 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 to obey the police and obey this one and obey that. The Lord give you an entire book which is all the righteousness on the face of the planet. 
that they don't tell it to me, which supersedes the law and actually is the premise on what they build their so called judicial system on. Read on. And fatherless. And fatherless, you understand? Because here they, they're quick to say that they, in, in Tengas and this and whatever the case is, they're quick to put you in every derogatory state like you have no protection, like you have no father. You understand? Protecting you as a people. Read on. Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are as widows because they broke down the strength of the man. When they take away his power and his authority to order his house on a right, because they, they already break him down in what they call breaking the book. When they rape the men in front of the children and the wives, that actually have played history so called black man. They follow and have your sister them enter into such a depressive state and their minds shattered to where they don't understand black authority. And the solution is us coming back strong as the Lord ordained us to be. Go ahead. We have drunken our water for money. We have drunken our own water for money. On a minor scale, they can't even have a certain amount of drums or, or, or tanks on your own premises, on your own lands. Who gave them the authority to take the land of the native Indian man of Trinidad? You understand? Of, of the land of Ayri, as, as they name it. Who gave them that authority? Who gave them that ability to tax you and say that you have to drink water for money? You understand? They pay the high rates and change the grocery bills and the prices of the food products to anything they want on any given day. Who still gave them that authority? Why do you not want justice? So called Negro man, Latino man, and Native Indian man. That, that, that in itself is a, is, a, is a shame. That in itself is genocide. Mentally, physically has been like somebody raping you. And they're saying, okay, you know, don't do it so hard next time. That don't make no sense. If we are not seeking actual justice, then we want destruction, so called Negro man, Latino man, and Native Indian man. Go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking up with jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the post to them, but meet them, God. Louis V kicks, pun we feed them bad. Catch a new drip, dub, we beat them bad. Look how we just come, we a beat them bad. You know, sister, we use them bad. Hey, but anyway, though, this are no playground. The Glock 19, they have to stay round. Now nah, take no check with my payroll. Anything rise up, play down. They must send check, but they won't. Dark, we will make it step if they don't. But at the same old, same old. Said them want smoke, but the grabber don't flame out. A couple of yalla come to. Yalla WhatsApp, what she gonna come to? She a give me tap and she swallow some jaws. Yalla suck cock till me Jonathan blow. Bentley van a come to. Convert to the drop top, still have a sunroof. The dark, them rules, chop your one through. Alright, wanna move, wanna move. Anyway, my dogs go in on the street, them bad. Gun talking on the jeans, member. If any somebody ever treat them bad, send the post to them, but me.